What's going on, guys? So, when you think of an athlete, you think of somebody that just has these big, beefy, strong legs. So, that's not by accident. That happens through hard work, and that's what we're really working on today is just build some big, thick, strong legs. This leg workout is going to be kind of split between some strength workout and some hypertrophy work, where in the beginning half of the workout, I'm going to be doing some heavy reps, working on some strength work. I'm going to be retesting my one rep max in the next couple weeks. So I'm going to do some heavy clusters. The second half of the workout is going to be geared towards higher reps, some hypertrophy work, just really increasing the size of your legs. Um, so this is going to be the perfect workout to get strong, get beefy, uh, and just build big, powerful legs. This workout is directly from my eight-week shred program, which is the exact program that I'm running right now to get in the best shape of my life for my wedding. So if you're interested in that program, you can train the exact same workouts that I'm doing. I'll leave a link to my program down in the comments below. You can literally do the exact same program that I'm running right now. I will also leave the link to my Fairground outfit down in the comments and in the description below. Use that George 20 code to save 20% off of first order at fitgrindapparel.com. I'm using the 100 pound rope deep dish plate. So I just got those in. I ran into that problem last week when I maxed out on deadlifts where I could fit enough weight on the bar uh, with bumper plates. So I maxed it out at 545 and you literally couldn't fit any more weight on the bar. So order some 100 pound rope deep dish plates. Now I'm able to get over 600 pounds on the bar, which that's kind of my goal in the future is really to train for that 600 pound deadlift. So I'm going to break those in today. I'm going to be doing a review of the rope deep dish plates coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that one if you're interested in that video. So with all that said, we're going to hop into those workouts. We're going to work hard today. Really work on some strength. Working on some of my be work. Leg days that day where you got to get that mind right. So sit back, relax. Let's get after it. Let's work hard. Right, so the way that we're starting our clusters off, we're gonna do three really heavy sets of singles. So you're gonna do three reps on each set. So what you're gonna do is find your one rep max and your first set of singles, you're gonna do roughly about 85 to 87 half percent of your one rep max. You do one rep, then you're gonna take 15 to 30 seconds, come back for another rep, 15 to 30 seconds rest, and then come back for that third rep. So basically you're doing three sets of three but you're only doing one at a time and you're taking that 15 to 30 seconds rest to really allow you to lift really heavy, high percentages of your one rep max. So first set, we're gonna do three sets of three reps. First set, you're going 85 to 87 and a half percent of your one rep max, which for me works out to be about 465. Second set, you're gonna do 90% of your one rep max, which for me works out to be 485. And then third set, you're gonna do about 92 and a half percent of your one rep max, which for me will be 505. So. You're basically doing three really heavy singles in each set, pure running up to your top set and really allowing your nervous system to acclimate to heavier weights. This is a great tool that you can use to really get your body used to those heavier weights, getting some practice at those high percentage weights, really perfecting your technique. Now, just because we're going heavy does not mean that we let our form break down. So you have to keep the same form, you have to keep your technique, but this allows you to practice really heavy reps while keeping your technique and really is a great way to improve some strength. So I'm all done with deadlifts. That was very strength focused. The back half of the workout is gonna be very hypertrophy, higher reps, superset, just getting after it, sucky supersets. Um, they're gonna hurt, they're gonna burn, and that's kind of the idea is we have some strength stuff, uh, getting stronger, now it's time to grow your legs. So next superset, you're gonna do a Bulgarian split squat, 10, 12 reps on each leg. Then you're gonna go over to a leg extension and you're gonna do a single leg leg extension, same thing, 10 to 12 reps, a very quad, dominant superset whatever leg you start with so say that you start with your right leg on the split squat go right left when you go over to the leg extension do right and then left so make sure that you're starting with the same leg on each exercise three sets 10 12 keep rest no longer than 90 seconds let's burn out this is where our legs get bigger 
All right, so done with that leg extension. Let's go off set. That one's a doozy. We're gonna finish off the hamstrings out. We're gonna do a lying leg curl or whatever leg curl variation in pouts. You could do seated leg curl. You could do your standing leg curl. You could do leg curl on an exercise ball. You're gonna superset it with some Romanian deadlifts. You could do either barbell or dumbbell. If deadlifts are one that you have a weak back and doing two barbell movements is tough, I would recommend that we did deadlifts early in the workout with the bar. Do Romanian deadlifts with the dumbbells. I'm gonna do it with the bar to just get some more practice with some Romanian deadlifts and some, some deadlift variations on the bar. But most of the times, if I do a barbell deadlift, I do another hinge movement with some dumbbells. So three sets, tens volt, same thing, super setting. Very hamstring and poster chain dominant. Let's finish off strong. Let's get it. All right, so we're all done with that workout. Workout felt great. Um, that's the first leg workout since I've been dieting. And big thing, guys, if you are dieting, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to lose body fat, you still need to focus on lifting heavy, trying to make strength progress. It is so important to help you keep building strength, to help build muscle, and at bare minimum, it's gonna tell your body to maintain the muscle that you have. You have to keep making strength progress. One thing that People are always like, you know, oh, I'm not gonna get stronger because I'm cutting. I don't like to take that mentality because I think your mind is a really powerful tool. And if you tell yourself that you're not gonna get stronger, you're not gonna get stronger. If you tell yourself well, you can't do something, more than likely you're not gonna be able to do it. So I always go into it with an open mind and really focus on trying to hit those workouts hard, trying to focus on getting stronger, put more weight on the bar. Um, because if you light things up, and you go super high reps, and you don't strength train the same way that you've been training when you're trying to build muscle and trying to gain weight, you will lose muscle mass. And it takes hard work to build muscle mass. So make sure that you maintain all the muscle mass that you have, because if you light things up and don't take it heavy and focus on trying to get stronger, you will lose muscle. Yes, you're not gonna be able to put on as much strength and as quickly as if you're you know, bulking and you got surplus of like 500 calories, like yeah, you're gonna put on some strength and some mass pretty quick when you're doing that, but still go into it with the mindset that you can accomplish anything, that you're trying to walk percent better every single day. Um, and your mind is a powerful tool, guys. So, like I said, you can follow along my full eight week shred program. I'll leave the link to that down in the comments below. It's literally the same exact program that I'm running right now to help you get the best shape of your life. So, if you're ready to take your fitness to the next level and you're ready to get the best shape of your life, like I said, link is in the comments below. Go check it out. If you're interested in my Fit Grind apparel outfits, I'll leave the link to this down in the description and in the comments below. You can even use that Jordan 20 code for 20% off your first order. If you don't know, Fit Grind Apparel is my fitness apparel brand and our brand is all about providing clothes for those hard works out there that love the grind, that love the hard work and the grit that it takes in the gym, uh, but also like to look good in their workout outfit. So check it out. Link is in the description in the comments below. So you guys will be watching this video on Wednesday. Stay tuned for my video on Friday. I'll leave a video for you guys to go watch your next. Make sure you go check everyone out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.